in this video, I am going to discuss Solving Quadratic Equations by Factoring At the end of this video, you will be able to Solve Quadratic Equations by Factoring Let's have example number 1 5x squared minus 20x is equal to 0. So, i-explain ko to using taglish. In the given, we don't have a constant term. We only have the quadratic term and the linear term. If the quadratic equation is incomplete like this, and if there is no constant term, we can factor it out by getting the greatest common monomial factor. So, paano ba natin malalaman ang greatest common monomial factor? There are two terms in this equation. We have 5x squared and negative 20x. Let us get the prime factors of 5x squared, which is 5 times x times x. And for 20x, 2 times 2 times 5 times x. The common monomial factors are 5 and x. Multiplying this, we have 5x. So the greatest common monomial factor is 5x. To get the other factor, all you have to do is to divide the terms 5x squared minus 20x by the greatest common monomial factor. So we have 5x squared minus 20x divided by 5x. 5x squared divided by 5x is x. Negative 20x divided by 5x is negative 4. Therefore, the factors are 5x and x minus 4. We need to apply the zero product property. A product of factors is zero if one or more factors is equal to zero. In symbol, if AB is equal to zero, then A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero or both. In this case, the factors are 5x and x minus 4. So we have two equations. 5x is equal to 0. The other one is x minus 4 is equal to 0. Let us compute the first equation, which is 5x is equal to 0. All you have to do is to divide both sides by 5. So 0 divided by 5 is 0. On the other equation, we have x minus 4 is equal to 0. We may use the addition property of equality or just simply transpose negative 4 on the other side of the equation. When we say transposing terms, it means that we're going to transfer the term or terms from one side of the equation to the other side of the equation. Since we are looking for the value of x, we need to transpose negative 4. So, kapag tinanspose po yung negative 4, it will become positive 4. So, x is equal to 4. So, the solution set is 0, 4. Next, example number 2. We have x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. Now that it is complete quadratic equation, all the terms are present in the given example. We're going to factor this trinomial. x squared minus 7x plus 10. The value of a here is 1. The value of b is negative 7. And the value of c is 10. If the value of a is 1, follow these steps. 
mag-iisip po ng dalawang number na kapag times ang result po ay yung value ng C. Pero kapag in naman po, the result is B. Gagamitin lang po ito kapag ang value ng A is 1. Again, think of two numbers that when you multiply, the result is the value of C. But when added, the result is the value of B. Let us substitute the value of C, which is 10, and the value of B, which is negative 7. So, isip po kayo ng dalawang number na kapag times ay 10, pero pag inad, ang result is negative 7. Since the value of C is positive, meaning the signs here must be the same. So, parehas lang po ng sign. Pwede dalawang positive or dalawang negative. However, ang value ng B natin is negative 7. So, meaning, the signs must be negative. Kasi pag nag-add tayo ng dalawang negative, the result is negative. And the sign must be the same since the value of C is positive. So, the two numbers are negative 5 and negative 2. Negative 5 times negative 2 is 10. Negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. So, the factors of x squared minus 7x plus 10 are x minus 5 and x minus 2. And don't forget to rewrite equals 0. x and x here are the factors of x squared. Applying the zero product property, we have x minus 5 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. Transpose negative 5, x is equal to 5. Transpose negative 2, x is equal to 2. The solution set 2, 5. For example number 3, we have x squared plus 2x minus 24 is equal to 0. Again, it has a quadratic term, linear term, and constant term. And the value of a here again is 1. So we could follow this formula. Think of two numbers that when multiplied, the result is negative 24. And when added, the result must be positive 2. So as you can see, the value of C here is negative. So meaning, they have different signs. One is positive and one is negative. So ano kaya yung dalawang numbers na kapag times, ang result ay negative 24, pero pag inad, ang sagot ay 2. The answer is positive 6 and negative 4. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24 and 6 plus negative 4 is equal to 2. Remember, adding unlike signs, you have to subtract and then kukopyahin po yung sign ng mas malaki ang absolute value. Of course, ang absolute value ng 6 ay 6. Absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Mas malaki po ang absolute value ng 6. So, kukopyahin natin yung sign ng 6, which is positive. So, the factors are x plus 6 and x minus 4 equals 0. Applying the zero product property, we have x plus 6 is equal to 0 and x minus 4 is equal to 0. Transpose 6, so x is equal to negative 6. Transpose negative 4, so x is equal to 4. Solution set, negative 6, 4. Kung meron pong questions about solving quadratic equations by factoring, just comment your question in our comment box below.